Hi there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create that liquidy and bass heavy sci-fi sound effect from scratch, all inside of Faceplant. There's gonna be two other plugins that we're gonna use, but most of it's gonna be inside of Faceplant. So with that said, let's get right into it, starting from scratch. All right, so here we are inside of Reaper. I've loaded up a blank instance of Faceplant here, and let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do here is gonna load a wavetable. And here, I'm gonna be trying to move a little bit quickly. So if you need to like pause or whatever, like go ahead and, and pause the video if you need to, or you can skip ahead. I'll have chapters at the bottom of the video. All right, so wavetable here, what I like to do is go into the growl section and you can kind of pick which one, whichever one you want for our sound here. I had this one here, the talkie. Next, we're gonna use another wavetable. I like to use this one to modulate our previous wavetable here. So I'm gonna assign it to the phase here. I'm gonna do negative 13. And of course, make sure you check off the out so that you don't actually hear this one. We only wanna hear this one. So now we have this sound. All right, so now's the time we're gonna insert our first random modulator. And here we're actually gonna end up using a lot. So I'm probably gonna be uh, copying and pasting a lot of these. So I'm just gonna bring the smooth all the way up to 100 and assign this to our frame up here. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is bring down the pitch a lot. I'm bringing it down to 60. So it sounds basically really growly. Especially when I start playing really low on my keyboard here in the in the low end, you get this really gravelly bass. For the LFO here, make sure you select plus to make sure that it scans up and down the file. All right, next here for our modulator, here you can test out different things. The one that I like to use here, I'm gonna go into my modulators and pick a different one here. I'm gonna use saw to square and I'm gonna bring it up to about here. Now this is the sound we have. All right, now it's time to add some effects. First thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a non-linear filter. I'm gonna put it to this band here. And I'm gonna put the cue at around here. The cutoff I'm gonna bring down to about 60, 70 here. And now we're gonna to wanna to add a new LFO. So I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna go and LFO table. I'm gonna click on these uh, settings here and I wanna pick a new table here. And the one I'm gonna pick here is called grid gates. And I wanna sign this to our cutoff. Now you'll notice here, it's not actually doing anything. I'm gonna to go to about 58%. And like I said, you're not gonna, you're gonna notice it's not actually doing anything. That's because this is not scanning through our file yet. So now we wanna scan through this LFO table. So the way we're gonna do that is with another LFO here. So I'm gonna create a new one here. And, and this triangle one is, is just good. It's fine. So I'm gonna set that up like this. I'm gonna make it all the way up. Make sure again, our triangle is positive, set to positive. And I'm just gonna slow it right down to about 0.1. 0.15 is good. Let's increase the drive here so we get more sound out of it. It's a bit more gritty, and that's perfect. All right, next, let's add another LFO here. We're gonna add a ring mod. I'm gonna bring the mix all the way down, and I'm gonna wanna modulate this up and down. And the way we're gonna do that is with another LFO here. So I'm gonna choose LFO, random. Again, make sure it's smooth, positive. I'm gonna assign that to the mix. Next, I wanna modulate the frequency here. So I'm gonna bring this down to around 84. 80. I'm just gonna put 84 here and I'm just gonna bring this up here a little bit to about 25. There you go. Now this is what we have. So we're getting close to that texture. Okay, let's add some more effects here. I'm just gonna add a pitch shifter here and I want to modulate the pitch here with an LFO. I'm gonna choose an LFO table and basically I wanna make this as random as possible. So if I have an alpha table that's kind of moving and changing over time, that might work just well. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna pick one here. All right, so this is the one I chose here and we can assign this to the pitch. I'm gonna make it go down. You gotta make sure the LFO here is positive. I'm gonna make it go down. So it's just gonna go down, but I want it to start a bit higher so that we're, we have more of the pitch that we're affecting. And now to make it even more interesting, again, I wanna make sure that I'm scanning through this LFO table. So let's do that now. So I'm gonna do another LFO like I had here. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this one over here. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna assign this one here to our frame. I'm gonna slow down this one a little bit again because I don't want it to go too fast. I just do want it to be a bit smooth. And there you go, now we have this. Sounds good, but now this pitch shifter is really controlling a lot of the sound and I kind of want that to come in and out. I don't want it to be, always be controlled. So we can do that by changing the mix knob here. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna change it uh, again by applying a, an LFO, uh, a random filter to it. So let's do that right now. I have a random here, right here. So I'm just gonna drag again, drag and drop this in here. And again, I'm gonna assign this to the mix here. I'm just gonna bring it down 100%. So now it's gonna be like randomly changing the mix. 
All right, let's keep going here. Let's add Disperser. Pinch I'm gonna put to about 1.25. The amount I'm gonna put to, let's say about 27. And now what I wanna do is I wanna have the bands here sweeping up and down the sound. So I'm gonna start it at around here, 20, 20 hertz, 22 hertz. And now I'm gonna modulate that with an LFO. So this I'm gonna do again with the same LFO here. You can use a new LFO if you want, but basically we're gonna go all the way up and all the way down like that. Now let's have a listen to what we have. All right, so that's pretty good. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this ring mod plugin over here and we're gonna put it here. Now, the only issue with this one here now is that I want it to be different than this one. So because these modulations are the same, I'm gonna to have to take these off and now I'm just gonna reapply the exact same modulations that we did for this one, except with new modulators. So I'm gonna create new modulators and apply them to this one. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so I've done that here. Now let's have a listen to what we have. We're starting to get that liquidy texture to come out. All right, let's just add a few more effects here. I'm gonna choose Ensemble. I'm gonna leave everything pretty much as is. One of the things I'm gonna to wanna to modulate though is the mix here. So to do that, again, I'm just gonna drag and drop another random LFO. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it over and assign it to the mix, bring that all the way down. All right, next I'm gonna want a distortion. I want to have it a hard clip. And this is just gonna bring out a lot of the harshness and different parts of the sound. So I'm gonna increase the spread here. So this can make our sound a bit more wide as well. So that'll be a bit more interesting. Let's have a listen. Great, we're almost done here. Next, I'm gonna add a limiter just to make sure we're not peaking or going crazy here. Just controlling our sound. All right, so that's basically it. Next, we're gonna add, wanna add a few plugins that are gonna really help to boost our sound quite a bit. One is gonna be OTT, again, free. I'll have a link in the description. Right, it's just doing a lot just to add, uh, just the, it's not only like balancing out the frequencies, but it's just bringing out a lot of the, the parts of the sound from each frequency band, so mids, highs, and lows. Next, I'm gonna add Uber Loud here. What I like to do is go to the three band here. I like to boost the mids, the lows, and the highs, except I think I'm gonna leave the highs because I don't want it to be too harsh. I'm just gonna have a bit of clipper here. And with that, we have our liquidy, bass-heavy sci-fi sound. All right, so I hope you found that useful, valuable. If you have any comments, questions, leave them down below. I always do my best to answer them. And just a reminder, I'll have links to my free sound pack, my sound design starter pack. If you're a sound designer and you're looking for sound effects to get started, I'll be free, link in the description. I think that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.